Well, the Paralympic flame is almost here. By this time tomorrow, it will have made its way through Esquimalt in Victoria, inspiring all who watch and signal the beginning of another exciting round of international athletic competition. Community celebrations are planned for most of the day tomorrow as the torch is here. A news reporter Astrid Braunschmidt joins us now with more on how to catch a good glimpse of the torch as it weaves its way through the capital. Astrid. You know, Hudson, this is going to be really exciting because for the first time, you get to be right in the middle of the Paralympic torch relay as it weaves its way through these two communities, right through the celebrations. Hey, there it goes. The Paralympic flame is now on its way to B.C. This was the scene in Toronto today as hundreds of people dressed in their patriotic red and white to watch the lighting of the torch. Victoria's own Stephanie Dixon can't wait to carry the torch tomorrow. I'm so excited. I've competed in three Paralympic Games as an athlete, and so it's really amazing to be able to be on the other side of things and be a cheerleader. Dixon has won 17 Paralympic medals in swimming and is no stranger to media coverage, but the attention being paid to these Paralympic Games is unprecedented. This is the first time that we're really highlighting Paralympic athletes in Canada, and that's so exciting. And I'm just looking forward to everyone seeing the great athleticism of Paralympic athletes. Great athleticism and inspiration kicks off the torch relay in Esquimalt at 8 o'clock tomorrow at the Archie Browning Center. From there, it moves through West Bay Marina and along Esquimalt Road, then to a Navy boat and on to the Navy Dragon Boat team, which will paddle the Paralympic flame to the Inner Harbor, signaling the start of Victoria's community celebration. This should be approximately uh, 22 people on a boat, including the drummer. It's going to be great, for, great exposure for the team, great for the city. Very excited. When the torch hits the water tomorrow, it will be paddled from the inn at Laurel Point all the way to the inner harbor. That's where it will be passed just in front of the Empress Hotel. To catch the action, you don't have to find a rocky outcropping. Organizers suggest a spot along the causeway. This very point is great. You'll have an opportunity to see the first torchbearer head up towards the legislature and then anywhere along the inner harbor, upper or lower, to see the actual relay. So all throughout the inner harbor, you'll be uh, part of the action. Celebrations in Victoria take place between noon and 2 tomorrow. Canada's Paralympic athletes will be cheered on starting March 12th when the Games begin. Veteran Stephanie Dixon offers this advice to all competing. My advice for every Paralympic athlete would be to enjoy every single moment of it. Uh, because if you're enjoying yourself, you're going to perform at your best ability. So just enjoy every single moment. Great advice as more than 1,000 athletes from 40 countries get ready to give it their best. So whether you decide to stand along the road, uh, along a Squimalt Road, or if you manage to squeeze in somewhere along Ship Point, you really do get to be in the middle of the excitement as the relay and the celebrations do take place all around you. Now, there's going to be some great performances well down at the Inner Harbor, great local performances from Sarah Marie Roche. Uh, she's got a beautiful voice. She'll be on stage between noon and 2 tomorrow. And fingers crossed, Hudson, for a beautiful sunny day, just like today. Couldn't ask for more. It should be a nice morning, and it's an honor to have have a chance to be part of it, Astrid. We're looking forward to it. Can't wait to see you go through the relay, Hudson. Thank It'll be you. fantastic. Right. We wish you luck. Thank you. I'll tell you all about it at the open house tomorrow. Sounds good. All right, Astrid. Thank you.